Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to DVD at Impera with yours truly, your first pair Primus Pilots. We are back in Carthage, we are back with the Carthaginians and the first Punic War has started, hasn't it? Rome has declared war against us and I guess we could say that poop has hit the ventilator now because uh, look at what they're bringing. Look at that. Look at all that. I am very anxious about this, my friends. I am very anxious. Right, let's get back to it. Let's get our bearings. Let's get uh, to what we need to do here. So we have a spy taking a look at the Editani here. We have another spy here ready to do so. Oh, they've actually they've moved a army. They have moved one army. That is good news. That is very good news. That means that we probably should get going here. Now, this is the start turn. We are going to bring this army down south. And I would like to declare war against those Nazamonis because we need to get back into... We need to get back into the Punic War. We need to get back into the fight here. We have some issues. Let me lower the volume here a little bit, my friends. It is beautiful to be back in DVD at Impera, but it is kind of loud. Although I love the music and the sound design of this game. Right, let's bring that army down and... We're not going to delay any army just yet. How are we doing here with re, uh, replenishment? Yeah, we are replenishing, but we are in the negatives for food, so we do need to do something about that. I think we wait for a turn, but we do need to get this fleet over here, because I need to block that crossing, I think. But I'm still not sure whether this works. I'm going to push this guy in here, and let's maybe start raiding, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Although, let's take a look at how far they can get with those. Yeah, they can actually cross. So with a little bit of luck, this actually works and we might be able to sink one or two of them. Right, good to be back. Okay, let's, um, let's go over the armies real quick. Yeah, do we want to get more troops in here? I don't really... I really want to get the Syracusians on our side. But I am... I am... I am ready to abandon Sicily. I'm ready to... What am I hearing? My goodness. There we go. This needs to be a playback. Sorry. I'm fiddling around with some controls here. There we go. All good. Right. So, uh, we need to fix the food situation. I think what we're going to do here in Topsus is we are going to expand this. No, let's go over the armies first. Sacred Company is over here. You need to go down towards here because there's going to be a revolt there. <clears throat> you are close by Sega, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, what I want to do here is I want to make sure that our food situation is under control. So let's expand this, and I want to get some more farms up. It's going to give us another plus three in food. We need to check politics. Yeah, this is a mess. Poop has definitely hit the ventilator. We are going to have a lot of issues soon. We are going to have a lot of issues soon. Okay, let's send you to Egypt. This is going to be very interesting. There's another full army in Rome over here. Yeah, I'm not sure what what <laughs> I'm not sure how we're ever going to cross at this moment. I think we just go to the next turn. We need to take on the Nazamones. With a little bit of luck, they actually push their army, this army over here, which is now recruiting. They actually push them towards the east to start attacking uh, Ammonium. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I know we have a little bit of money left, but I'll, I'll save it for uh, construction. Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back, my friends. It's really good to be back. Let me charge my phone here, set a timer. But yeah, things are about to go down here because the Punic Wars have started. I don't think we're, we're going to be able to get into Sicily in time. I do want to fix the economy in Africa first. Make sure food is in the plus and such. Make sure we have plenty of replenishment. Get a couple more, uh, get a couple more uh, ranks on those armies. I have to focus here because this is. Uh, I do feel like it's about to go. It's about to go down. It's it's about to go bad very quickly. And we're gonna. I think we're gonna lose the first Punic War. I think we're gonna lose the first Punic War. So we need to make sure that we're we're uh, good buddies with Egypt. 
that's kind of what I'm focusing right now. Try and stabilize the situation in the east. Try and stabilize the situation in the west. Try and stabilize in Iberia as well. Because Iberia is still not as safe as I would like it to be. And the same with the Garamantian. Sorry, the uh, Igariman. I always confuse those two. Same with the Igariman. I feel like we need to stabilize the situation with the Igariman first. Before we start looking north. Also, I got the question in the comment section about, you know, uh, food. Why I always build food buildings in every settlement. And I'm actually not sure why I do it. It's it's probably better to, to uh, specialize the uh, uh, the provinces. Um, and I think, I think I do this because of my old days with uh, Attila. Because I have played a lot more Attila over... Uh, over um, over Rome 2, over Dividea Tempera, right? I'm, I'm kind of new to Dividea Tempera, so... I mean, you, I guess you could say I'm kind of a rookie when it comes to Dividea Tempera. I've played a lot more... Uh, played, a, played, a, played a lot more Attila. And that is probably why I fix the um, food situation in every province, because if you have negative food in a province in Attila, you get a big debuff. So there's the rebellion in Siga, which is fine, that is absolutely fine. Uh, we do need to go over all provinces, I think. Uh, political intrigue has developed. Uh, wounded returns empty-handed. We have construction one. That is very good. That is very good indeed. And then we have a hidden agent exposed and a food shortage across the lands. So I'm trying to fix all that. Libya is going to... Uh, and Sicalia is actually going to get a slave revolt. And then a subject gains notoriety. My goodness, what a, what a mess. Um... King of Syracuse is defeated by the Mamertines. Uh, Heron captures my uh, Mal Malai Milea M Milai. Oh, God, I can't speak anymore. I'm so nervous because of this <laughs> Punic situation. I'm so bloody nervous because of this. Um, new power has emerged, ready to make his mark. Right, household expands. Yeah, I'm really nervous about the Punic War. I really want to do my best here, and I'm really unsure how to move forward on this thing. We need to get. Better with Sicily, I guess. So yeah, uh, the Nazamones have have left the uh, the um, the thingy. Um, now I would like to attack here with. Okay, they're raiding here. Okay, let's do one thing. Well, let's do one thing first. Right, first things first. Let's let's start here. So, what is the what is the deal? Politicians and the public have both become enamored by a great young orator he is obviously ambitious and he is gaining the favor of the rabble although he has yet to disparage you disparage i'm gonna have to google that he hasn't supported your endeavors either let's give him office okay so the revolt is over here probably going to be able to get there in uh, two turns yeah. My god, movement range is so bloody... Ugh. So iffy. Okay, we're gonna... What the hell? We're gonna have revolts all over the place, so... We're gonna have to let that one riot. Let's just stay here for now. You need to start moving that way. I will actually give you some more slingers, I think. Uh, just one. It's going to be fine. Uh, here in Agragas, the slave revolt is something we cannot stop. So, well, we could potentially stop it for one turn. We could stop it. Yeah, we could stop it. If we take these guys out of the city and then maybe go into a patrol stance, we might be able to stop it. Yeah. Uh, and then we can focus on economy again with research. We have construction one, which is very good. Allows us to build wells and such. I would like to start moving towards something that gives us more influence, loyalty, stuff like that. Public order. I think we need to go there. Uh, but we need to get this done first. So um, that is actually good as well. So let's, let's go for that. Uh, we'll take that. Now you, are you going to be able to get to there? Yes, you are. Let's see if we can stop this army. It doesn't look like it. We could try it, though. We could try it. I will. Okay, failure. Cheese. Let's 
take a look how uh, how bad Egypt wants us to declare war now. By speaking with the humble servant of Pharaoh, divine master of Egypt. That doesn't work. That is fine. Still moderate. Still moderate. And that's low. Let's go down two levels. Reject it. Pharaoh, in his divinity, forgives your impudence in offering money as though he were a common king. Okay, I'm going to cancel that real quick because here's the thing. I'm okay with doing a little bit of trespassing, I guess. Am I? Gotta fix the food situation. This is costing us food as well. Let's get rid of it. I'm not happy with it, but it is what it is. Uh, Dimity, here we need food as well. A homestead. Oh, crap. It's gonna be a revolt here, too. Yeah, we're not looking as, as, as good as I would like us to be. Gotta fix the food situation. Well, at least Africa and Corrales are doing okay. It's going to be a revolt here next turn, my goodness. Okay, keep her on tax harvesting for now then. This army needs to start returning, like ASAP. We're going to trespass. and wisdom be his welcome and speak remembering that all is within okay i just need money i really need money really do need money are you brave or foolish so we are not safe at the moment Greetings, friend. Let us use our time together in wisdom. Need to get the politi uh, political situation under control. Greetings in the name of the Republic. Welcome. The day is already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, my friends. I'm thinking. You undoubtedly have much to say. And I will listen for my master's part, a servant of Dread Pharaoh. Pharaoh, I'm happy to join a war against the Seleucids. Your impudence in offering money as though he were a common king. Your offer is kind and respectful. But Pharaoh, Horus Reborn, has little need of... Come on. A foreigner will never understand that the blessing of Pharaoh, the father of all, cannot be bought for talk. Your offer is kind and respectful. But Pharaoh, Horus Reborn... There we go. Okay, so that is going to be good for our relationship with Egypt as well. Uh, War with the Seleucids, look at that, plus 23. So Egypt is going to like us very much. We need Egypt on our side against Rome. Be most welcome, friend of Pharaoh, fertility to his manhood and strength to his sword arm. Approach and speak. Pharaoh, I'll join another one. Forgives your impudence in offering money as though he were a, co a foreigner will never understand that the blessing of Pharaoh, the father of... Okay. You asked... 
If they're not going to give us money, we're not going to join. The master of two houses. Speak now of your desire. Let's try one more. Because we, we desperately need some more money here. Pharaoh, in his divinity, forgives your impudence in offering money as though he were a common king. Pharaoh, in his divinity, forgives your impudence in offering money as though he were... Okay. Fine, 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 fine. Yeah, shush, 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 <laughs> shush, my friend. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to get another army, either in Yolo or Dimidi. I think in uh, Dimidi. Sorry. Yeah, Dimidi. Let's recruit that. That is actually enough to keep this province under control, which is good. Let's bring her to Bread and Games. And in one turn, we have another farm up, right? Yeah, we have another farm up in one turn, so that is very good. We need to get fish as well. That is something we need to focus on. But having this army over here is going to help out tremendously. Now, we have a little bit more money, so let's see if we can get some cheap troops here. Something like that. Let's do that. Actually, I'd rather have some slingers. Uh, they're going to be more expensive. Yeah, let's just do that then. Uh, and then here we could... No, we can't do anything here. We're not going to get the Slave Revolt. That's a good thing at least. We still have 500 left, which is good. Um, I don't want to recruit more here. We might need to fight that. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Let's go to the next turn. That should be fixed. And then we do need to make sure that this is something. So that we don't get more slums. And we cannot raise taxes. Okay, sorry, my friends. I am having... I've had a long week. I need some more time to think. I need some more time to think, but I do think I'm happy with this move. We're going to have to move against the Nazamones next turn. That is something that just has to happen. Egypt likes us, so that's good. With a little bit of luck, they pull some troops in here as well. And the question, of course, now is what do we do with the Nazamones? Do we... Yeah, what do we do with the Nazamones? Do we loot the place? Do we sack the place? Do we occupy... Like, do we client them? That could also work. The thing is, uh, doing a client state by conquest, I feel like it's... I need to set a timer. Crap. Sorry. Let me do this first, because I will keep playing if I don't set a timer. My goodness. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. That is set. Good. So my my uh, uh, my thoughts on doing a client state by conquest is usually that they will betray you at some point. Um, so liberation is usually my... I, I would prefer to liberate, honestly. I would prefer to liberate. Um, but that leaves us with the issue that they still have to full doom stacks somewhere, right? If you client state them, their troops are basically going to join your side. Well, they're not going to join your side, of course, but they are going to be an ally, right? They're going to be one of our allies temporarily. So then we don't have to worry about their troops for a while. But they will be back and they will put their troops to use. So do keep that in mind. That is the... I think that is the choice that needs to be made, right? So either have their troops at your side for a tiny bit and have the chance... Like, have there be a chance for them to stab you in the back when you least expect it, right? They Because they will betray you. Like, a client state by conquest, they will betray you at some point. Because they're not going to like you. They're not going to like you a lot. Um, they're going to hate your guts. And they are going to betray you when you least expect this. There, there's a generous tribute. That's what I need to see. I've got a minus seven here in food. Rebellion in Kireni as well. So, protection is expiring. Look at that. Civil war is happening as well. Food shortage... Oh, my goodness. Got a couple of judges ranking up. That is good, at least. Spy ranking up. We've got a more influence, plus three judges. That is good. Uh, foolish to have such a gifted man not under your wing. I agree. That is why we recruited them. Uh, him. Right, we have another homestead, uh, homestead and a, another amphitheater. And then we have the quartermaster's report. A little bit of recruitment. Unhappy populace, a faction has risen. Yeah, that doesn't concern us at all. Edict has been issued and a household expands. It is time to move against the Nazamones. Okay. Okay. 
They have been beaten back by the Carthaginians, so that is a good thing. Uh, we do have the revolt here. Uh, they are not going to start attacking Kareni just yet, so I think what, what's going to happen here is we are going to see a... Um, we're going to see us loot that place, because we already have one of these cities, so why not take the other one, right? And this is just going to give us a little bit of extra food as well, so I am going to go for that. There's so a lot of things that need to happen right now. We prevented the revolt from happening here, which is very good. We can start moving this unit back up north. We don't need to be here. You can probably even start patrolling here, which is going to save us a little bit of food, which is good. We are raiding this bit. The Romans are not moving just yet, so I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. I would be happy to stay here for a while. That's plus 11 here, my goodness. Uh, and that means that we could actually get another farm up there as well. But let's do first things first. Let's, let's, start, with the, um, let's start with the rebels here. Yeah, so now we're not going to get reinforcements from the city, but that is just what it is. Um, they've got a lot of archers. I want to get elephants, man. I mean, this is Carthage. We need elephants. I need bloody elephants. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that war uh, that battle in a bit. I think. First, want to go for the Nazamones. I will listen with all the respect. Okay, trade agreements are on the table, which is good. And give divine pharaohs fair answer to them. I'm trying to squeeze every bit out of this. Let's go for four. Reject it. Pharaoh, in his divinity, forgives your impudence in offering money as though he were a common. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this dance again. <laughs> We are going to do this dance again. Okay, a thousand then. Come on, buddy. Give me that extra thousand. We need it. Ah, oh, come on. Even rejected like that, Jesus. Okay, Nazimonis. I'm sorry, it's just going to happen then. If you have something to say, say... Yeah, that's not going to be an issue, but we do want to have the other army in there as well, just for the experience. So that is fine. And now I do think we're going to loot and occupy this thing. That is not as much as I would like to get out of this, but... This is what it is. There's an increase in rank, which is very good. We need that. And these two are going to switch, I think. And this guy is going to have to protect the settlement for now. Because the Nazamonis are going to start moving towards us, so... Let's get you that level. We need uh, Phoenician Vanguard and Siege Specialist. And then I would like to have, I think, Rampart Takers. Need to get that to the next level. And then I would like to have more movement range, which is going to be... Yeah, I think it's going to be this one. Proven Leader. Let's go for it. So I really need this army to to move. Like, I, I really need them to move fast. Didn't lose a single unit on this, so that is good. But I would not mind doing a little bit of merging. Not these guys, though. Okay, uh, let's check the settlement real quick. Uh, this can be repaired. Prepare it for now. This needs to be that, Nagora. I'm not going to tax this province because that will end the uh, food shortage. Okay, so then we still have another 10k left, which is good. Um, public order is good there. That's going down a bit. That's at zero. That is going up, of course. Uh, let me check the troops here. 
So they've got the experience on their side. They've also got the missile superiority. We don't have cavalry superiority. That is what concerns me. And honestly, the thing is, I don't really see a strategic... I don't see how we have the upper hand here. That is the that is the issue. Don't really see how we have the upper hand. Yeah, I don't really see how we would be able to win this. Um, yet. Let me add that. Let me add the yet. It's a river crossing as well. That doesn't make it... Uh, doesn't make it any easier. Um, we might be able to divide and conquer this. Because we, we do have cavalry. I mean, we have a general. I mean, I, I would feel a little bit safer if we had two units of cavalry here. Because I'm not really fond of throwing our cal uh, our general into four units of uh, four missile units basically yeah I don't I'm not really fond of that because we might be able to ensnare two of them but then there's still two miss uh, no we're not fighting the fog fog that <laughs> sorry God I am sorry uh didn't we weren't we supposed to fight at a river crossing? Yeah, that's the river crossing, I guess. Wait, sorry. Why Why is my camera turned around like that? That is odd. Very odd. Okay, where the hell is the enemy? There they are, I guess. Okay, we need to stay out of range. Uh, we've got some of these missiles. We've got these guys over here. Let's put them in the flank. So what do we have here? We've got missiles here. Just missiles? Almost just missiles. Okay, we have already... That could be good, actually. We can cross there, we can cross there. They're defending both crossings. We might be able to snatch some kills on that with the sling as so. Or maybe even there. Okay, nobody needs to fire a will. Especially not them. Um... See what they do. that bit for a bit so we might be able to just fire at them let's go here this is coming towards us which is fine we might be able to take down that army before the uh, before the other guys come right now I, I just want to chip away at their units for a bit see if we can get some of them down start moving the cavalry that way uh, can we can we just turn and shoot please How about we just turn and shoot? I'm moving the cavalry over here so that we can keep an eye on what's coming from our flank there. But yeah, if they don't want to move here, then I'm absolutely fine with that. I just want my slingers to start firing into them. What are they doing, man? Just get the hell over there. I mean, yes, we're firing into their shields, but I still want to do it. What the hell are they doing? Okay, let them cross. Uh, 
absolutely fine with that. Just chip away at the numbers a little bit. Sorry, my friends, I'm really, really trying to focus here. Looks like we're going to be able to uh, take care of the general. With a little bit of luck. Maybe not. forest they're losing some men which is good Let's move some shields forward the slingers can keep firing for now uh no keep firing our general is under attack get the general out of there we'll take care of this bit first and then we'll start uh, thinking about something else Okay, you need to make sure these guys are tangled with. I am happy to just punch in now. You need to move. Move fast. They will try and draw them into... Uh, draw them into there. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a lot of arrows. But they're just going to have to tank it for now. They're just going to have to tank it, because we will be able to wipe out these two. This is... Oh, crap, they have uh, spears as well. And I just turned him around, didn't I? Damn it. Okay. Fall back. Fall back. We don't want to get into range of their... Uh, we don't want to get into, uh, we don't want to get into uh, missile range. This is going to be fine. We'll be able to wipe these. This is fine as well. Let's just have them fight here for a bit. Once we wipe this, then uh, we'll start pushing cavalry into the rear. Everybody just needs to retreat for a little, little bit. Come on. Come on, my friend. I really need you to indeed decisively win this. And quickly. Because we need you here. Before these units start breaking or something. Don't want that. Don't want that. Wouldn't want that. Okay, the Javelin can stay for now. We don't really need to do anything. Just need to break these uh, archers. Formation breached. Okay, we've got the first. That's good. First one's done. Second one is about to go down. And we do need to we do need to chase them for a little bit because we need to make sure that they don't come back. We do need to make sure that they, they don't come back. Please break this. Come on. Come on, buddy. Jeez. There we go. That's it. That's it. Keep moving. These guys need to hold. And they can. They shall. They will. Okay, we can actually speed time up a little bit, I think. Come on, why, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? We cannot have to move back. Okay, let's speed up a bit. This is good, this is good. Now we're absolutely dealing with them. Good, get the next one. Actually, don't get the next one. We're losing ground here. We're losing ground here. We need to push into their rear now. Give him morale when we can. There we go, general nearby. That's it. They're not going to love that. There we go, that's it. That is it. Okay, so that is that is the first, um, first little win for us, I think. Now they seem to be retreating. They don't want to hold the... The river crossing anymore, which is... I, I guess I get that. It means that we need to start moving. I would like to do something about these archer units still. They're trying to go for the hill. That is fine. I might try and waste their ammo on this unit. Uh, I will get rid of these guys, though. If we are able to reach them in time. We're not. We're not. That's too bad. 
Okay, let's cross. Okay, how are we looking? We've still got plenty of ammo. They've lost one unit of spears, uh, one unit of uh, archers, and half a unit of archers. We've lost half a unit of spears. We have lost like a third of our ammo on these guys. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Bloody do this. Yeah, we can do this. I'm confident about that. Let's get into a uh, formation here. One shields up front. Then ready to go for the rear. Can we see stats on them? What is their uh, what is their range? Oh no, that's the cavalry I'm looking at. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna move forward a little bit. Let's do that uh, not double time. So I want to get into range of these guys. I'm going to punch them forward a little bit. I want to start firing at the uh, archers, which are almost done. Actually going to start doing that. But I don't want the archers to fire on our um, on our slingers. They're moving forward, aren't they? Yes, they are. And now they're moving back again. That is fine. To the flanks. Okay, let's push them forward. I need to start firing at these uh, at these archers. That's it. Hold. If we're in range, we're fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. Shields up. Very good. Shields up. I'm happy uh, losing this unit. If we can give the morale, if the, if we can uh, get the general a little bit closer, to make sure that they hold for a little bit longer, let's make sure they hold for a little bit longer. That's going to be very good. Let's hope these guys go. They should be done soon. Come on. Okay, let them keep firing on that. Okay, now they're firing at the slingers. That is fine as well. Let them waste their ammo on these slingers. That's fine. It's going to be a little bit of an art. Uh, going to be a little bit of a uh, missile skirmish now. Which is okay, by the way. They might be done soon, which is good. We are also not doing well. But these uh, slingers will be back. That's a good thing at least. Plus they're wasting a lot of ammo. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay, it's time. Let's start moving forward. We have cavalry, they don't. Oh yes, they have, uh, they have, uh, spears. We need to tank those with uh, something that we can spare now, which is going to be these slingers, unfortunately. Javelins need to start poking into their flanks soon. Okay, let them clash. That's what I mean. Look at all those uh, spears going out. Those are strong. Kind of need the general on the, on the other flank, I think. So we either go around. You need to clash with that, you need to clash with that. 
Okay, if you don't if you if you don't clash at all, I'm actually fine with that as well. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We need to get these javelins in close now. No, don't, 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 don't. Our men flee the field of battle. I know it's fine. This is a shameful display. There's your flank. There's your flank. That's it. That's it. This this is uh, this has got to work, and if it doesn't, we're done. Okay, let's rear that. Let's just rear that real quick. Give him what we can. Untangle this first, and then just start moving towards the other side. Come on, buddy. They should not be liking this. If we break this, we can win this. If we break this, I'm winning this. Yes, there we go. Good. You need to stop firing fire at that. Okay, I need to make sure these guys don't come back. So let's just have them let's just have them drop for a while. Keep in mind they still have that general moving. Okay, go. Let's make sure the cavalry deals with that. That's fine. We don't want to tangle with their general. Fire that. Yeah, that's what not what I want to do here. Get him out, get him out, get him out. These guys need to go in. You need to go there. Okay, let's make sure we do something about these uh, missile troops. God, our cavalry is slow, man. Okay, at least we're surrounding them now. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I'm losing the internet. No, not now. Not now, come on. Thank you. Okay, we are actually tangling with them from different sides now, which is good. I'm not sure whether I want to keep doing this. Maybe we dive into the rear of their general. Although we are very close, aren't we? Still active. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing in my general from the rear. If their general dies, they are done. These guys are not doing well as well. Maybe we... This is not the time to be indecisive. Break that. Break that, because then we can start surrounding people. And we need to have our general present in order to uh, make sure our men here don't break. And this rear charge is all they need. There we go, that's what I mean. Okay, the rest can deal with that. These men need to start moving over to here. You need to start moving over to there. These spears need to start moving to the flank of that. And then we have these javelin men who need to start getting over here. These men are still in in uh, in the fight, right? I'm having a lot of lag here. Yes, updates available. Very nice. Get rid of that. Yeah, latency is moving up. Okay, well, this is what it is. I can win this even with latency. Engage that. We got him. We bloody got him. We bloody got him, my friends. Okay, I'm going to try and get you to the rear of that. Yeah, we did it. We bloody did it. Okay, good. We needed this. We bloody needed this, man. I mean, I can't really imagine us losing this now, but... Well, you never know. <laughs> okay, we've got this. That's good. Let's just make sure they don't come back, and then we'll push the general into their uh, into their general. How are they doing for? Uh, this? They're winded, which is fine, I guess. Okay, we got them. We make this a little bit more clean, like that. Thank you. I mean, that should be it, right? Okay, let's continue this because we do want to get some more experience. Getting some levels on these generals is also very good, so... The enemy general is dead. Very good. Okay. 
costly victory. Well, it was supposed to be a, um, a decisive defeat. So I'm taking a costly victory. I'm happy with that. My friends, I will see you in a bit. All right, a good victory. Let's um, release these captives. Ransom them. They've actually survived that. Okay, fine. We'll fight them again. And with a little bit of luck, we'll get a rank on this general. There we go. Good. Hamilcar level 2. Uh, now, I do need to go over the generals to see who's who, because a civil war is coming, whether we like it or not. Uh, let's grab that, and grab... Uh, yeah, let's grab Master Scouts, I think that's good. We should probably also do something about public order with a Watch Goose. Silly Watch Goose. Anywho, uh, and also, that reminds me, we probably should start pressing these advantages here. So... Yeah, that's all not great, I guess. That's good, at least. More campaign map movement range, less chance of having children for Gisco. I'm fine with that, I'd rather have the movement range. Okay. Um, and how about you? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Okay, so next thing is the uh yeah, polo hmm. diplomacy. Let's do diplomacy first. Uh let's take a look at the Nazamones. I don't think they want to peace out with us. Can't imagine that working. No. They're gonna try and retake their capital, I think. Uh but we can get that trade Oh, we cannot get a trade agreement. That is something I don't really like. This is probably going up though, which is a good thing. Uh, with a little bit of luck, I, win, I, I wouldn't mind joining another war with them for a little bit of money. So let's just try this again. Reject that. Let's try it for a thousand. So I want to get that relationship up. I want to. Uh, they are reliable, so I do want to get a trade agreement or something in place. Okay, they're rejecting that as well. I think we just don't have to trade goods or something. I don't know. Um, so uh, let's take a look at politics real quick. Because we only have three more turns, and then we need to get this thing under control. So if we secure loyalty, we'll get a plus 10. We're not going to do that just yet, because we don't know if we can even get there. So I'm not doing this uh, just yet. But we do need to keep the funds in the treasury, I think, to make sure that we are able to do it. We need to make a decision here. Let's take a look at the, at the, uh, at the map here, and take a look at the faction ownership. So the landowners actually own Sicily here. Now let's take a look at the... Um, Let's take a look where that general is. So that is Hamilcar. We've actually just leveled this guy, which is this guy. Uh, we can probably do that real quick. And also merge these slingers, and then we'll disband this unit for now. We still have protection for two more turns, or three more turns, something like that. So we are okay-ish for now. Uh, I do want to focus on the next province and make sure that public order is under control. And I'm not sure what the next province is going to be. I mean, I would like it to be this, because the eastern flank is kind of secure, I guess. But we need to crush this rebellion first. We are sending our faction leader up, our Sofet, to do something about that, I guess. Because they are going to grow strong soon, so I do want to get you towards there. Um, and that means we got that fight that we need to do, but that is fine. Now, what is the next province that we want to secure? I think it is probably this one, actually. We're already doing a pretty good job here, I think, but still, public order is not under control. Well, with this with this army, it is under control, I guess, but uh, you can probably go into a patrol stance, which is going to give us a little bit more food, and that might mean that we are going to be able to retax this thing. Yes, we can. Very good. Uh, which is only going to give us just a tiny, tiny bit, so we might as well not tax it. Make sure it is truly under control. Uh, with food, that is. Okay, uh, let's die. I, I do think we want to try and get the landowners party to revolt here. The problem is, 
I may not be able to get these guys into a minus 11. Anywho. Yeah, this is just not going to happen, is it? Okay, well, I can try some more uh, some more things. The Magnet Dynasty, um, they have Corrales. What we could do is see if we can <clears throat> get some faction loyalty through an edict. So you'll focus on party loyalty. Now who owns this? That is Barkit. Uh, yeah, we don't want the Hananit to revolt. So we do, because the Hananit have two provinces, right? So we really do want the landowners party to revolt, but then we do need to have an army present. Yeah, we do need to have an army present there. A plus 15 there is going to work fine. These provinces are not under our entire control, so that is we're not going to be able to pull the same trick there. Uh, we do have some levels on our on our um, agents. I want that, and I want to go there. That could help. But that doesn't matter here, so... It does matter here, though. There's a timer. But is that going to help us in the long run? It is not. Then I'd rather grab the food. How can I serve you? Yeah, then I'd rather grab the food. Yes. We're still defending this crossing. Not sure whether we need to, but... There's a plus nine here, which is good. We've got quite a bit of money left. I'm not going to focus on the uh, landowners' party. We're going to have them revolt. It's only one unit, and the unit is actually... Uh, actually, that army is over here. So we do need to get this army over to there. Because these two need to meet. Yeah, these two need to meet. Okay, we do have a little bit of money now, which is a good thing at least. Let's make sure we have another governor here. It's more growth. More growth. And more tax rate and such. Now let's go for growth. Next turn you'll start doing your thing, which is good. Then we have about 8,000 left. What do we do with that? We invest it in a province where we need public order, which is probably here, but I'm not sure how we're going to be able to get the public order. Let's get it here. Let's get an amphitheater up, which is going to give us a little bit more public order at least. And then maybe... Uh, keep the rest, actually. Yeah, we'll keep the rest. We're not going to spend it. Okay, timer did go off, but I do want to play for a little bit longer. So let's do a couple more turns. 
Master of the night. Okay, we'll ask Egypt next turn again. Um, we could set a war target. Let's see what we can establish with uh, Siraxa here. Greetings. Well, do not stand there mute as though with the tongue. Okay, no. So the reason we're keeping some funds in the treasury is because we might need to secure loyalty through the uh, politics uh, uh, screen soon. It's only going to be two more turns. Yeah, I believe it's only going to be two more turns before we no longer protect it against civil war. And then we probably want to um, make sure that we are ready to strike. And that means that we need to get more troops in Sicily. We need to get more troops in Sicily anyway, right? I'd love to get the Sofet there, but it's kind of tricky, I guess. Kind of iffy as well. And we need to get a spy up there as well. Make sure we know what they're up to. And yes, I want bloody elephants. I want bloody elephants. But we just cannot afford them yet. Once our once our budget allows for it, I I will, because it doesn't feel right to not go into Italy without. Let's 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 add that to the victory conditions, eh? We need to um, we need to cross some elephants into there. Maybe go over the Alps. Maybe go over the Alps. We'll see. But our victory uh, our, our victory conditions, of course, are throw the Romans out of Italy. That is basically what we need to do here. Actually, we need to annihilate the Romans. We need to crush them. We need to wipe them off the map. Then we have victory with Carthage. Our self-imposed goal, eh? I don't want to do a long campaign on this one. Not as long as we did with the Roman campaign. Don't get me wrong. I love doing longer campaigns as well. But I also... I, I think I love doing shorter campaigns a little bit more. Because I do think the early game is just so bloody interesting, usually. Once you start steamrolling, things are just, you know... They're not necessarily becoming easier, but they, the, the game just becomes different. It just becomes a different game. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love the, uh, I love the uh, late game as well. I haven't made it that, that, uh, with that many campaigns into the late game. But I do feel like the start is just so... Like, it's such a, such a thrill. I love it. Absolutely love it. Let me know in the comment section what you, get, what you guys think about that. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on it, I guess. Uh, ready to command... Very good. Uh, diplomat has been wounded, had to return empty-handed. Rebellion is imminent in Espana. That is all to be expected. But a rebellion is probably going to be imminent here as well soon. Um, we cannot get over the borders, but we can not tax it. Because I do feel like we're going to get a revolt here. Okay, we're going to get a revolt nonetheless. Um, yeah, we, we might get another one in the boss sim, and I'm not loving that. So that is not great. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's go to the construction reports. We have some more of that. Very good. We have some more money coming in as well. Seasonal conditions, blah, 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 blah. Faction destroyed. Oh, okay. Unhappy populace and an edict has been issued, which is very good. This, uh, this one. That is great, because that means that one of these families is probably going to be quite happy with us. Yeah, look at that. Minus 13. Um, you are wounded. That is not good at all. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to get the Hananid dynasty on our side as well. So that is not good. That is not good at all. But if we, we are going to send a diplomat anyway with you, so that at least means that we have one of you, one of you with us. The Maganid dynasty. So that is good at least. Uh, we need to get these two together. So you're going to go this way and you're going to go that way. I'll keep them both into the province where they are now. This province is kind of almost stable. Let's have you go into this stance as well. That means that they are stable. Uh, the revolt is going to happen here, whether we like it or not. Uh, we have made sure that there's no revolt happening in, Sic of, uh, yeah, in Sicily. So that is a good thing. 
Um, the spine needs to start moving towards the Romans, so let's start moving you. You need to start moving up north. We're actually taking quite a bit of attrition here, which is not good. Uh, how are the Nazamones doing? Are they, are they done yet? They are not done yet. They are probably taking attrition. That means that we might be able to start... Disbanding a few troops on this, and I will do that. So that's going to give us a little bit more money. Not much, but a little bit more. We need to get that next turn, but we're not going to be able to. It is what it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. This needs to be that. Let's actually do it, because we're going to hold these settlements. Uh, that is going to be a farming settlement. Leaves us with another thousand. Let's talk to Egypt. Be most welcome, friend of Pharaoh. Fertility to his men. Yeah, yeah. Friend of Pharaoh, but un unwilling to go for a trade agreement. Be welcome, I suppose. Okay, the Nazamones are moving towards us again. That is fine. We'll be able to repel them with this uh, with this garrison and the um, and the men that are there. Why are they taking attrition? Hmm. Okay. Well, I can't help that. We already have a judge there. But that's okay. We'll have you here for now. And I might move you to Mostia, I think. I think that's actually better. Okay, no no Romans in Cassentia. Um Start raiding over there. Because they're not going to be able to cross anyway, right? So, And then what I do want to do is get a little bit more troops up here. They don't have to be great troops. They just need to have spears. Peasants with spears. That is all I need now. Uh, we're not going to be able to get out of this one, right? Let's double check. Nah. Nah. Okay, this is what it is. Let's hope we can get to the rebels next turn. I need the uh, families to expand. God, I am loving this campaign, honestly. Absolutely loving this campaign. But it has taken a little bit more of a serious tone now, because we are in serious trouble. Like, this is not a good situation. I am not... Like, we are not safe. We're just not safe. That's how simple it is. We need to figure out who the generals are next turn that need to be... Um, that we need to keep an eye on. It's probably only one general, but still. You have time yeah. Joke about my people with your oh, God. As I said, we are not safe. I wish we could have these reinforcements um, flee. Okay, I will fight this. I will fight this. I will fight this, but it's going to have to be next episode, my friends, because we have uh, we've got a full stack coming in. Yeah, there's no there's no chance of us winning this, I think. I don't think there's any chance of us winning this. And they're going to take Panormos as well, by the way, so... I don't see us winning this, but still I'm going to fight it, because we need to... We need to at least hurt them. We need to at least hurt them. Oh my god! <sighs> this is... This campaign, man, 
it's already like, whoa. Poop has hit the ventilator. Anywho, my friends, we are going to call it quits for now. Thank you very, very much for being here with me today. Do push your tips, tricks, and comments, and feedbacks, and likes, and subscriptions, and all that jazz, because honestly, I need them right here. Uh, this campaign is going... I don't know how this campaign is going. I've, I'm going into the Carthaginian campaign blind, so I have no idea where I need to be and what I need to do. I'm just trying to make the best of it, basically, trying to wing it. Um... I need you. <laughs> I'm going to need your tips and tricks and suggestions and comments and all that jazz. So push them in, please, because I need good generals here. My friends, thank you very much for being with me today. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm absolutely loving this campaign, so expect more soon. Friday, right? This is the Tuesday episode. It's going, going up on Tuesday. Friday, there will be another episode. My friends, thank you very much. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.